Good day, everyone. My name is Associate Professor Dr. Lee Lin Han, the PI and leader of the Microbiome and Bioresource Research Strengths from the Jeffrey Chia School of Medicine and Health Sciences, Monash University, Malaysia. Today, I'll be talking about the research focus and the impact of our research to the community. As a potential PhD candidate, I hope that by listening to this video, you'll be able to have better understanding of the potential projects we have for you from our research strengths. So thanks to everyone in the research strengths, um, good effort, I'm able to achieve a decent um, career output until now with good publications numbers, good impact factors, community impact factors, good Google Scholar citations, and we are able to get funding support from US FDA, mostly MOHI and industries. And all of this leading to uh, some prominent research awards being given to me, such as the Malaysia Research Star Award 2018, whereby I'm uh, awarded the best medical science researcher of the year and the excellent contribution award um, conferred by the King of Thailand in 2020. So the aim of microbiome research strengths um, is to champion and promote high quality microbiome research in the school and the campus. So the main research areas is broadly into three areas. Um, the first one will be the study of bad microbes such as virus and superbug and marase, and how to make people sick by looking into the virulence factor or the antimicrobial resistant trait. Wow, suggesting better detection and management option to improve the treatment outcome. Secondly, we also discovered novel good microbes such as the actinobacteria, the streptomyces for drug discovery and probiotic purposes in order to improve human and animal health at the end. Thirdly, we, we apply, um, we use the application of gut microbiome manipulations to improve human and animal health. So this figure shows very nicely um, the research impact to community from the microbiome and bioresource research strengths. To begin with, so we are very strong in biosystematics of actinobacteria, especially streptomyces. In layman term, we are very strong in um, telling people and discovering novel bacteria. So after a series of experimentation, we are able to tell whether this specific bacteria is novel or not, meaning that it has never been discovered by anyone else in the world. So the goodness of this kind of discovery is that you get to name your own bacteria and also you get to publish this finding in top class journal. And the plus of that, you can deposit these strains in worldwide world-class culture collection center in Germany, Japan, Korea, and so on, so that other scientists around the world can get your strains and to work on different aspects of it. Following from that, from the novel good bacteria that we get, we perform fermentation. We give them specific nutrients that uh, encourage them to produce the compound, the good uh, properties that we wanted to. We are pretty strong in this as well, that um, we have been working with industry company and we already have some um, new fermentation media in the market, which is sellable. So you could be interested in this kind of project as well, um, in novel fermentation media development other than the novel bacteria discovery projects that you could be interested in. Following by that, we have a strong team performing chemical profiling, bioactive screenings, looking into um, different kinds of properties such as antimicrobial, antioxidant and anti-cancers. So you could be interested in some of the drug discovery pipelines as your project as well. And we do have some uh, novel drug candidates that is already uh, going to the animal testing phase um, showing very good preliminary results against superbugs such as the MRSA, which is very difficult to be killed by our existing antibiotics. And ultimately, this project is a uh, very potential in publishing high impact factor publications plus uh, potentially saving lives. Other examples is that um, the novel streptomyces that we have discovered, we are using it as probiotics in the aquaculture industries. So uh, the aquaculture industry um, with uh, shrimps and fishes are suffering a lot from infections uh, from rebuilt species causing rebiosis. So these uh, aquaculture animals um, infected with this kind of bacteria, um, they don't grow properly or they die 
Um, therefore, uh, our preliminary results working with the aquaculture industry by running field tests showing that our Streptomyces probiotic is able to improve the gut health of these aquaculture aqu aquatic animals and therefore improving food safety for the consumers as well. In terms of human microbiome projects, uh, we have two active projects running um, by uh, using other probiotics like Pithecobacterium and so on. We want, we aim to improve gut health and uh, wanted to see whether an improve of gut health can improve mental health, such as depression or not. This project, we are working in collaborations with the psychiatrist specialists. And we're also working with a pediatrician in the hospital to look at the role of gut microbiome on prison baby and how is this gut microbiome uh, affecting the outcome of the treatment in the hospitals. So in a nutshell, we are harvesting what we know and get from the good microbes and we want to use this discovery, these findings, to tackle some of the problems that has been disturbing us for some time from the bad microbes. Um, I hope as a potential PhD student, this gives you a better idea of potential projects you can join in our team. And we really encourage high quality PhD students to apply for our Jeffrey Chasco of Medicine Graduate Research Merit Scholarships. And I'd like to acknowledge everyone in Malaysia, in overseas, all my collaborators, um, for all the fantastic work and uh, all the time. Thank you very much and thank you.